What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. The playoff promo is live right now. In today's video, we're going to go over everything you need to know about it and what you need to do first to earn all of the free content from this promo. Just a reminder that this is a three-part promo. Some more cards will be coming out as we progress through the playoffs IRL and I'm sure a lot of the players who have a good wild card weekend and after that are probably going to get cards based off of performances. So we'll see what else we get. But a lot of very good content today some of the best cards in the game let's go over it it's all going to start with the welcome pack there's two different welcome packs the first one is going to feature a lower overall Darrell Revis but you can actually upgrade this card nice animation here you can actually upgrade this card to a 92 overall for free by playing through house rules and going through the solo challenges so you start with an 86 overall it's going to work like most cards like the Johnny Manziel from last week on the Campus Hero promo you go over to the upgrade tab you're gonna have to spend that an in initial five AP or sorry five training to get to the next step and then you need three different collectibles to max this card out to a 92 overall it's a solid card for a free option and it looks like things that you need to do to earn XP on the playoff field pass are basically going to allow you to earn this along the way or upgrade this card along the way if you're going to be going through and trying to max out the field pass which features a free 94 overall card so not a bad welcome pack there and not a bad free item in my opinion I'll definitely be using that card on my no money spent squad we also have a wild card set welcome pack i don't know exactly what to expect in this one but let's go ahead and open it up here probably just a mutt tip i think this one is explaining how the 90 overall cards that we're going to have available today will eventually progress up to a 93 overall when we get over to item sets i'll explain that in more detail so that welcome pack isn't really really in important let's go over to solo challenges again there is going to be a field pass for this promo so the solos are going to earn you a lot of xp plus those revis tokens there's two different different sequences here the mythic playoffs in the road to victory and if you take a look at the milestone awards here gonna feature various things 82 plus packs uh program xp there's one of the Darrell revis tokens at tier three in this section more coins more non bnd 85 plus and 88 playoff packs 88 plus playoff packs so i think these are good because you might be able to make a little bit of coin hopefully some of you get lucky from those 88 and 85 plus packs the second sequence or second section is road to victory in the milestone Stone rewards are pretty similar there you got program xp 85 plus packs there's the Darrell revis token at tier 5 a 91 overall playoff fantasy pack so we will be putting out a video going over the best 91s to take from this pack and it is a bnd that's going to be at 120 stars and then at 145 stars you get 10k now one thing i want to point out is if you take a look at each of these sections they only right now contain the possibility of 35 stars each so you're you're not going to be able to get to some of these rewards just yet. We're going to have to wait for part two of this promo to come out. And I think they said on last night's reveal stream that after part two comes out, you should be able to fully max out the Darrell Revis and get him to a 92 overall for free. Let's go through the playoff field pass. And this one has some pretty good rewards in it. Of course, you can scroll from the left to the right to see everything. The important ones, number one, at level two, you're going to get a playoff strategy item pack. This one will allow you to upgrade either the AF NFC players on your team from the playoff promo or NFC players. So you want to pick the one or equip the one based off of, you know, what side of the conference you have the most on your team. For me, it'll probably be NFC just because of Darius Slay. I'm not sure how that's going to be treated for like AFC players who maybe get an NFC team cam like Isaiah Salamau, who right now is on the on the uh, Steelers, but will get Eagles cam. I don't know if that one's going to work out. Um, you also have a ton of season four XP in here. So with the new season four field pass that just came out yesterday, this is a great way to progress through that. There's some 85 plus and 88 plus packs in here. There's going to be coin rewards. The main reward that everybody's going to be going after and likely isn't going to be possible just yet. Probably going to have to wait for at least part two of the promo. But once you get to level 22, you're going to get your choice of either a 91 plus non BND playoff player or a BND playoff champion. I'm going to go the champion route. I don't know if this is going to give you a pick out of all the cards or if it's going to be like random three options. We'll have to find out once this is able to be unlocked and everything that you need to do to earn XP in this field pass. 
will be found to the right. So we talked about the solo challenges. You get XP through playing through those along with the Rebus tokens. Scoring 25 passing touchdowns with two playoff players in your lineup will help you get there. Make sure you go ahead and put that welcome pack Darrell Rebus in your lineup right away, even if he's CB number five, so you can get one half of the cards you need to, to get progress towards this objective. Completing sets will also give you XP, but one other thing to point out is if you take a look here, completing a playoff hero set or a champion set will actually get you one of those Darrell Rivas tokens. You need three of them to get him up to a 92. I'm pretty sure this is the third one. I may have misspoke earlier. I don't think there are any of these Darrell Rivas tokens in the house rules rewards, which I will show you in a moment. And speaking of house rules, you get a bunch of rewards by playing and winning in that game mode, but also getting the 35 wins is going to give you XP within this field pass. You got your head-to-head -head objectives here, getting kickoff and punt yardage, 800 to be exact, in either either head-to-head -head or solo battle games will get you XP. And then also, and this one doesn't really make a ton of sense here, getting to level five in the playoff field pass is gonna give you XP towards the playoff field pass. So it's kind of like double dipping, I guess, there. So that's everything in the field pass and what you need to do to level it up. Let's go over to house rules here. Um, by the time most of you are watching this, it's gonna be expired, but just to point it out, the college overtime house rules at this moment still has 39 minutes left if you need to get some of those objectives done because it's going to be gone forever. The final drive is the playoff house rules, and if we go to the reward tab here, you will see that, as I said earlier, it's mainly going to give you coins, 85 and 88 plus packs, and also XP for the field pass, so you can scroll through. There's no like featured player reward. There's no Revis tokens in here. I think really the main reason you're going to be playing it is to at least get to level 35 to get that field pass XP and if you want to go above that you know hope that you get lucky with some of these 88 plus packs you do get some decent coin rewards here as well especially if you're no money spent but if you do happen to get something good out of these packs you can certainly make a good amount of coin off of them because they are all not BND. Let's take a look at the playoff sets now a lot of people are wondering and asking are there playoff predictor sets not that I see anywhere in here so they might not be doing that this year maybe they're just going to do it for the Super Bowl all, all of the 94 overall champions have the same requirements and I said this in last night's reveal video I don't think there's one bad card out of all of these 94s. I do want to point out a couple of them. Uh, number one, the quarterbacks, either Tua or Jordan Love, confirmed can get both set feet lead and hot route master together for a total of seven AP. Tua's a lefty, Jordan Love's a righty. I'm pretty sure Jordan Love has Slinger 1 release, not 100% sure on Tua's. So you're not going to be able to get Gunslinger along with all of that as well. In that case, I think Jordan Love's going to be the better route because he has the better natural throwing motion. Darius Slade does get deep out zone KO for 2 AP, pick artists for 0 AP, but they're in the same bucket. So if you want both of those, it's going to cost you a total of 3 AP. And again, all of these cards really, really good. I don't think there's a bad one in here. If you look at the requirements, it's all going to be the same. 91 overall cards from any promo. You put five of them into a set. In return, you're going to get the playoff card of your choice there for whatever set you want to do. Let's talk about these 90 overall BND playoff wild card fantasy pack players. So if you missed who got a card, definitely go check out mutt.gg or the video I put out on the reveals last Last night but every team is represented here the two teams that got a buy with the 49ers and the Ravens they have 91 overall cards that are not in the game right now they won't be available until next weekend because they have a buy everybody else the other 12 teams that are playing Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, they have a 90 overall. So you're going to be able to upgrade these cards, win or lose, all the way up to a 93. The difference is, is that it's either going to cost you training it's go or it's going to be free. So if the Bills win this weekend, Jordan Poyer's card goes from a 90 to a 91 for free, assuming you complete the set. And these cards are BND, so you can't buy them or sell them off the auction house if you complete the set. Now, if the Bills win their next game, he's going to go up to to a 92 and it will still cost you nothing to upgrade that card to the 92 say the bills make it to the afc championship they lose that game poyer still going to go to a 93 overall but to get him from a 92 to a 93 it's going to cost you some amount of training we don't know the, that exact amount so again all of these players will go to a 93 the cost of it is depending on how many games they win or lose in the playoffs and next week this set will give out all 91 overall cards and it's going to be more expensive so if there's 
any card you need for a theme team. Like for me, I want Jason Kelsey for the Eagles. I want Jordan Poyer because he gets Eagles chems. This is going to be the earliest. I Like I should do this today or before next week because this set is going to get more difficult. It's going to cost more items to complete once they go to 91 overalls and the 92s and 93s. Let's finish the video with pack offers. So there is a 10 times 88 plus playoff players pack for $25. It's exactly what I just said. You get 10 88 plus playoff players. So if you happen to get some 91s out of this pack, that's going to be helpful if you're looking to build out 94s. The plus is often silent in these type of offers, but I think for $25 to get 10 chances at it and maybe you get lucky and get an LTD out of here. There's two 95 overall LTDs in Zay Flowers and Nick Bosa. Again, for $25, I'm going to open it up. I think it's worth it. You get one time to do that. There's a mini bundle for basically five or a little bit under $5. This one's going to give you three playoff packs and then an 85 plus playoff player. Very small offer here. Probably worth it if you got a couple dollars to spend. There is an entire tab in the store for the playoff promo. We got a $100 bundle here that features 15 playoff packs and then 691 overall playoff players. I prefer giving us a topper that gives us a 94 guaranteed with a chance at a 95. Instead, they're giving you six cards that are guaranteed at at least a 91. And remember, you need five of them to build out a 94. So basically buying this bundle, which is a lot of money, is guaranteeing you at least 194 with a bunch of extra stuff. And maybe you get lucky there. Because there's so many cards out today that I want on my team and I want to use, I'm probably going to buy this bundle. But generally speaking, I don't think this is really great value out there cards are really really good but for a hundred dollars which is a lot of money are you going to get your return on that i'm going to say probably not you got a playoff pack don't spend your coins on packs i know some of you are going to get something good out of this and ignore my advice but in the long run it's just never good to be spending your coins on packs save your coins and go out and buy the players that you want rather than gambling on them and there is a playoff reroll rerolls have been terrible pretty much all year so i'll probably open up a couple of these just for content purposes on Twitch before we, you know, try out some of these new players. But overall, you know, another one that I think is just going to be a waste. And I think that's it for the store. I don't really see anything else in here. Let me just check special offers to make sure they didn't add anything in there. So um, that's it. Go knock out your solos. Get those house rules wins. Grind that field pass. Tons of good free rewards in here, including that free 94 overall. And eventually I will drop a video going over the best card to take out of that pack, along with that 91 pack as well from the solo challenges. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.